Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I purchased a Kendon motorcycle trailer. Cool little fold-up trailer. It folds up and takes up very little space in the garage. The only problem is I have a 900-pound motorcycle and this has, as you can see, the little narrow ramp. So when I'm loading it, I get to one point where I'm barely up on my tippy toes and no real place to put your feet. So I ordered from Kendon a replacement tail section. Uh, came within just a few days. It's over here in the box. I haven't uncrated it yet. This uh, replaced that narrow rear end section with a wide section with a wide ramp. Hopefully it'll go on easy. My understanding is uh, I will reuse this plate here and uh, hopefully it's unbolt and bolt back on. I'm, I'm a little mechanically challenged, but if I can do it, anyone can do it. So I'm fixing to uncrate the parts and see if I can't bolt on the, the new tail section. Stay tuned and see how it turns out. My memory served me well. I did remove the aluminum plate off the old tail section. Fixing to bolt it onto the new tail section. Came off super easy. Literally within just a few minutes. It looks like... Got a couple of bolts here holding on the old tail section. One on each end. Hopefully they will come apart easily. I'm going to go ahead and put the aluminum pan on the small tail section. And can I give you an idea? This is how wide the ramp will be on the new tail section versus the one little narrow one there. The new wider tail section bolted on super easy. I mean, there, I put the aluminum pan on there, a bolt here, a bolt over here. At uh, first, I didn't think my original caster was gonna fit because it bolted on with four holes and this one only had one hole, but then I opened the rest of the package and I found they even sent a new caster so much wider i'm gonna again look at the instructions about um putting the ramp on make sure i've got this bolted bolted good on each side and then i'm gonna pull my bike up on there with the wide ramp and put the ramps on it and then check it out so far i'm very happy it was very easy to do very easy install and i usually look at instructions i didn't find the instructions till i was about done but so far, so good. All right, the new ramps go on just like the old one. Except the old one just had the one narrow. This one, except that's the wrong section. And that wasn't right when I saw again so this is all the ramp was on the narrow tail section and that's how narrow it got where this one it's got the wider tail section I don't have a place to peek place to put my feet so it looks like I left that one on there crooked slide through there to hold everything in place. Same thing on the bottom. Is it off? So you just filmed it turning around like that saying, Dad, is it off? Oh, well, that's fine with me. You're supposed to be keeping it in Well, it, it was showing a red dot. <laughs> so I no. think I'm going to leave this in there and not edit it out. This is my sweet daughter no, that's no. my camera person. As long as the red light's flashing. No. So 
I may not edit this well, out, Samantha. Me. Well, I told you just went to sleep when the screen went blank. There's nothing left to do now but get my 900 pound bike and ride it up there. At least now I have some place to put my feet while I ride it up on the trailer. Yeah. Fixing to go try that out now. with the retrofit it went on real easy of course it is april in southeast texas and i broke a little sweat but it was an easy install so i'm, I'm happy with the retrofit i'd recommend the trailer or and or the um, retrofit if you've got the narrow tail section so be sure and like and subscribe most of my content is motorcycle related a lot of it's indian brand i do some devotionals but primarily on my youtube channel it's motorcycle related thank you for tuning in Remember, if you like to ride, ride as much as you can, because one day we're all going to be too old to ride. Be sure to like and subscribe.